Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We had an amazing value SBC yesterday in FIFA 23, and there's still more coming. Yes, we are talking about end of an era SBCs, guys. There's still that one big SBC that we're missing, though. That Zlatan end of an era. We don't have any leaks about that specific SBC yet, but EA is off to a great start with two big, great end of an era SBCs in the past couple of days. Now, moving into today on FIFA, we have hopes for more of those and also, we're going to get the last set of new Team of the Season cards of this entire Team of the Season promo today on this game with the rest of the world Team of the Season. I want to set, set the stage for that with today's content expectations, market investments, and new leaks in the video today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's look at yesterday's content. It all started off with a Flash Objective and a Flash SBC during the halftime of the Champions League. And the SBC is not live anymore, but, man, I got to tell you, there was it was probably the hardest SBC that I've ever seen released as a Flash SBC. I sold a couple cards for my club. Sokka for 8k, Ramsdale for 2,000 coins, a Cherubi for 8k, Di Lorenzo for 8k, and so same with Smith Rowe. There were some crazy prices that went up because the SBC was so hard to do. It was an 84 times 3 pack, um, and it only had like 30 minutes to do it. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I can't imagine there was a lot of people that got that SBC done unless you used a solution and had cards in your club. It was pretty difficult to figure out. So I, you know, was kind of confused by that one. We also had a flash objective yesterday for a couple of packs. Nothing too crazy there. And speaking of the store, I want to talk about that before we go back into SBCs. We did have the 500k pack that was dropped yesterday. And I haven't checked the TOTS pack weight percentage on this one yet. I'd have to imagine it's decent. Wow, 70%, that is it. Okay, well, it's a little bit lower, but you think about it. Ultimate Tots cards, difficult to pack. 70% there on those. Uh, and then there was a issue with the 100,000 coin pack. I want to point out, you may have seen it on Twitter. You may have not. It's another one of those compensation scenarios. Uh, actually, some of you guys might notice the Tots counter is up to 97. I opened the pack, the 100,000 coin um, Tots Essentials Pack of Ultimate Team of the Season. I've seen this floating around. Goffing tweeted this out, and he said, in, if you change your language to Brazilian Portuguese, it does not mention that the player picks are loans on this 100K pack. So that is a risk, right? I don't want you guys all spending 100,000 coins on a pack if you cannot afford it, but there is potential compensation there. We'll see. It seems like this can't keep happening. Maybe EA would just stop giving out compensation, but if it is true that that translation is incorrect like it was now, I mean, what, for the Polish compensation and then for the Germany compensations as well, this has happened a crazy amount of times already. We'll see if it happens again, but I went and, and risked it on that pack and I got Odomendi, so that was Tots card number 97, but that is a part of the of stuff that was going on this game yesterday. Now, the big SBC that dropped yesterday was the end of an era Sergio Busquets, and this is one that really a lot of people wanted to see. Very deserving of an end of an era card. Man, EA is off to such a great start. Two days in a row uh, that I've done an end of an era SBC. Literally, first day I did Firmino on Friday, and then yesterday on Saturday I did Busquets right away. Boom, straight into my team. Links with Cap de Villa and Kunde, so it's really nice to have him. And man, he's he's pretty good. I need to play a couple more games with him. When I was playing earlier on stream, the gameplay was absolutely woeful, which it has been this weekend. My record's in the mud. I got to bring it back to try to get 11 wins. But I love this card, four star, four star, with a really nice card layout. 99 short pass, long pass, 99 composure, ball control. Um, he's got really high stats around the rest of the card. He's great. 99 attack positioning and 94 finishing as well. Stats you probably, I didn't expect to see on this card. He can be lengthy on an anchor. I'm using him as a stay back C CDM. And uh, he's high in average plus body type, which gives him kind of those like long legs uh, and just like great interceptions uh, inside of the game. So I think he's a really, really good card. And the thing is, the price is what's really making the impact on the market and making this SBC such good value. 93% upvote, only 216,000 coins to get this boost gets SBC done. And of course, as you would expect, it is impacting the market a lot because this is an SBC that's so affordable, right? Big name player, very emotional for a lot of people, big club, good links, and right? It's cheap. And that, of course, is making the market move. I want to take a look at some cards that went up. First of all, yesterday, we have a lot of links from the La Liga, and especially those Barcelona links that are rising in price. Balde, Lewandowski, Pedri are examples of cards that exploded. Balde was like 140,000 coins. He went to 170. He went all the way to like 200k. Right now, he's about 180,000 coins. 
Pedri is another one that exploded in price. Even though Pedri and um, Busquets are in the same position, you can imagine a lot of people would want to use these guys together in a team. From about 670k at content, he's all the way up now to 730. He was almost 825. That was a crazy spike there. Again, a little more risky with him and Lewandowski because they are in packs. So a lot of your Barcelona links are going up across the game. Kunde special cards went up. Even the cheaper ones, right? You take a look at like, um, I think the Kunde, what is it? Like the Phenoms card in the Inform. Like this card is 75,000 coins. And he was like, what, 50, 60K before? Yeah, he was like 53,000 coins and he's up to 75K. So big, big price rises there. And on the flip side of things, You've got other midfielders that are dropping in price because people are selling these midfielders to go and do the Busquets, right? This is the normal type of thing that we see when there's a great value SBC that has dropped. Marquinhos, and I'm at Modric, was 400,000 coins, went all the way down to 360. Right now, he's about 350, 360 as well. Verratti, um, not sure where I got the Marquinhos from. That was really random. Verratti is 310,000 coins. He was down all the way from 385. And there were some really low prices during Champions League, guys. This is I know Champions League is over, uh, but the really, really low prices during Champions League, that is something to kind of remember, especially during the big games towards the end of the competition. If you look at a lot of graphs from yesterday on meta cards, stuff was really low during those like hour and a half two hours and then it kind of rebounded a bit up afterwards some of it's back down lower again so midfielders are down and barcelona links are up when should be you should be selling some of these barcelona links if you have them what i would say is uh probably keep it to the pretty short term i mean there is another leak we looked at that essential leak um for an end of an era marco essential card of course for some of these guys like maybe a ball day maybe a Pedri since they are Spanish. He could, those cards could go further up in price if Asensio were to come out today or on Monday. So, I mean, kind of do with it what you will, but just be careful. If you invested specifically for these cards, uh, I would probably take the coins pretty soon because that's where the hype uh, of these cards uh, rising would be. If you even take a look at Andrew Robertson's Tots card, right? He was on Friday night, like 300,000 coins. He's dropped down already because the Milner hype and the Firmino hype has already worn off just a little bit because we had a brand new uh, Busquets dropped yesterday. So I would say sell earlier than later, unless you're expecting that essential card to come out. But of course, if you got those guys for your team, just keep them in your team, have fun. It's towards the end of the game of FIFA and enjoy these end of an era cards. But the real hype with this end of an era Busquets is guys, there's still more to come, right? And maybe even today on Sunday, we get a new end of an era SBC. Like I mentioned, that Asensio is a leak that we have probably the best leak right now. And the other one is Hector. Now, I have to be honest, we're two for two with really good value and really big name end of an era SBCs. I feel like this one for most people would not be that hype, but Asensio would be pretty hype, if, especially if he's good value like these last two end of an eras have been. But still, we're waiting on that Zlatan, man. We need some Zlatan leaks, EA Sports. I mean, if you plan on putting this card in the game, uh, honestly, I was thinking about this. Would we like Zlatan as a shapeshifter card or maybe later on during the summer as like a summer card? And honestly, I think I know. Like, I would want a Zlatan SBC that I could put in my club and enjoy through the rest of FIFA and have an end of an era card. I would not want any other version of him. So I really, really hope that that's a part of EA's plans. And we will hope to see some leaks and maybe some news about that later on this week but hopefully we continue the good end of an era uh, value sbc train i wonder though if ea might take a break and not release an end of an era card today because there is nothing in game that is said no official news from ea that we're getting an end of an era sbc every single day and we are yes two days in a row of getting an sbc for one but today brings us the last day of new team of the season cards and i wonder if ea is going to kind of switch the focus with an sbc from this release today rest of the world tots the liga portugal cards are going to be going out of packs today and rest of the world tots are going to be coming into replacing them and uh there's some good ones in here guys it's going to be tough to link basically all of these cards i hope ea juice these stats a bunch. You've got some big name players in here like Goodwin um, from the Aussie League and uh, League 2 team here. That card looks pretty cracked if he gets a really nice upgrade. Also links to uh, Cavaradona, the Georgia links for Mikael Datsé. And, uh, you know, Davidson has had a Tots card before in the past. Munoz has had a Tots card before in the past. So not anything super crazy. Kind of the more, I think, hype SBC that is a part of this team that is dropping potentially today is Paul Mullen. 
This one being for Wrexham with the English links, I think might bring a little bit more hype to the game. He's got an inform in FIFA already, but if he were to get an SBC that would look anything along these lines, that could be a pretty good card and especially one with the rise of the popularity of Wrexham as a team um, and all of that. This could be a pretty fun SBC that drops today and could draw a lot of hype. It obviously would be tough to link, but you know, maybe look at some English icons um, and stuff like that. Maybe moving on the market today if we get a Mullen SBC and if um, it is good value, right? He's got an inform already. I wanted to pull this up really fast because it's not going to be an absolutely cracked card probably today, but it's 3-3, high medium. He's got pretty decent stats for an 80-rated inform. Now, if they were to give him a 90-rated tots card, hopefully he would have some really big juice stat there and a 5-star, five 5-star five or something crazy like that. That might be the biggest piece of hype today for the rest of the world tots is that SBC. Now, also today, we talk about it every single weekend, an icon pack, player pick, SBC sort of thing is a staple of weekend content, right? We didn't get it yesterday. We're expecting it to come back today. Where's this SBC, the 90 plus player pick, right? It's going away. Oh, it expired. Duh, it's not even in here because it expired yesterday on Saturday. Now today, either it's going to get refreshed or in my opinion, they'll drop something new. They've kind of been going back and forth recently with like the hero player pick, then the icon player pick. I really hope they just drop the hero player pick once again, uh, because yes, it was a gamble, but it was a gamble that all, a lot of us were willing to do and take part in because there was, you know, Trophy Titans, Foot Birthday, and Team of the Year icons in it. Yes, the prime weight's really bad. Maybe they could level it up by doing like 92 plus and, you know, take out some of those uh, prime cards that are like 90 to 91 rated that would you know, move a lot of fodder, right? So I have my fingers crossed for that, but I would expect to see some sort of icon player pick or pack or something along those lines today and just because of that again and with all the other great sbcs that we have coming in this game right now in terms of the end of an eras sbc fodder is looking ripe for an investment once again as it normally is on a saturday heading into a sunday but this week i might say gamble a little bit on the higher tier if we do have more end of an era cards coming if we do get his lot time which seems like a little bit of a stretch but even an essential card with the real madrid hype there'd be a lot of people that would want to do that and if we get some sort of icon player pick today i think if you guys remember uh last week on saturday what happened with these cards was they exploded, right? They were 14, 15,000 coins and boom, they went to like 19K because of that icon player pick. I really like the middle to higher tier fodder. Um, actually, the entire fodder market right now looks decent. Prices are starting to rise, but it's because we have so many SBCs out that people want to do. I think we're going to get decent SBCs this week as well. So that's why I like this tier. I like the 87s, the 88s. I kind of like the 91s and the 92s. The 92s specifically, these two cards right here, Fofana and Jao Mario. Um, I know Fofana is in packs right now during Ultimate Team of the Season, and probably a lot of people have packed him. If you're opening any packs right now, he's probably one of the most packable cards. Flippin says he's 30K. That's actually cap. But the fact that 91s and 92s for a couple of these low-tier Tots cards are the exact same price, like Joao Mario and Seiko Fofana say they're 31,000 coins on Flippin, which is the exact same price as the 91 rated tots cards you know that's something i would kind of look at but these 92 rated tots at that low of a price i think are pretty good buys if we get the new tots cards released today um that are 92 rated as well if they get down to the fodder value really fast that could be a good pickup because again if you take a look at all fodder tots cards this price still maintains around the 28 to 29 000 coin range i'm still holding all my investments there but if 88 rated tots are 28k and 92s are only 30 31 you know those are a couple cards you could pick up but for gold cards i think i would look at 88s if i were to do something and invest specifically for an icon player pick or something along those lines today because these guys you can probably get for like 15,000 coins I would say to try to get 15k for them on bids we have squad battle rewards today uh Cancelo is not 16k like Flippin says he's a little bit more than that uh but I think you might be able to get under 16k for those today and who knows they could go to 20 plus if we get a good icon player pick now if you're like Nate I don't want to buy the hot, the top tier I want to stick to the low tier that's been working every single week I like that idea as well right 83s at 1.6 84s I don't know if we're going to get an 81 11 this week um and of course upgrade packs the situation is probably going to be a bunch of upgrade packs drop tomorrow for all the top five leagues so that you could try to pick out which players in ultimate tots you would like to pack but 85s at 8k that's been a great uh, place to buy these last couple of weeks and i would imagine ea like they've been doing these past couple weeks they're going to give us some sort of you know 84 times 5 or an 84 times 3 some sort of 
upgrade SBC like that during the week so that we can try to gamble and pack these award winner cards and the ultimate team of the season cards that are in packs right now. So I think for that matter, I like the 83s, 84s, 85s, even the 86s as well. Basically all fodder right now is a decent club stock at the very least. And again, what we talked about last week is this is the time of year last year where we started to see fodder prices really start to take off as well and go up as there was a lot of good content released during ultimate team of the season. And then of course in shapeshifters as well. And the fodder market during toss just gets really, really low. And after that, we see kind of a rise as we go later on. So I think that is starting to happen as you look at fodder prices. And I think it's going to continue to happen. So maybe a good time to club stocks and fodder there as well. That's a lot of talking about fodder. Let's talk about the rest of the market. Ultimate tots cards, as you just saw me click into the squad on Footbin. Footbin must have watched the video yesterday because I mentioned, I was like, hey, Footbin, it'd be really nice to add a squad into your squads list. And they did. If you go to the drop down for squads, you can see there is an ultimate list there now, which just puts all of the ultimate Tots cards very nicely together in one team. And guys, these prices are going down even further as expected. Muhammad Salah is 930K. What was he last night? He was like a mil, right? 1.02. He went to 1.1, went all went all the way down to 980, and then is now 930,000 coins. So these cards probably going to go lower into tonight on Sunday night. I know it seems crazy, but this is what we really expect with even these cards are, of course, re-released. But this is how the same fluctuations go with a brand new promo of cards in packs as well, right? They go lower, lower, lower during the weekend and sometimes have a bounce on Monday. So if any of these guys you're still looking to buy for your team, I would probably put that off um, at least another day or two or maybe three as we get closer to shapeshifters and a lot of that hype builds just because that's a really, really big promo. Uh, but unless you want to use a card for Weekend League, then I would say try to pick a low point. Like if you want to use Salah, this 930K price right here looks really cheap. You know, seeing that he was a million coins just a couple of hours ago, he looks pretty low. So maybe you pick that up and then sell it tomorrow after you play a few games so that you're not risking too many coins there. But, but again, we just have to be careful with all these Tots cards because we know what's going to happen in two or three weeks from now. We're going to get the shapeshifters. We're going to get all these insane cards that are going to drop, probably push the power curve even more and just enter into fun summertime FIFA. And these cards are going to drop in value because there'll be new, more juiced cards that are out. Even though these look so cracked right now, like, Nate, how could these ever drop? Just wait. Two, three weeks, it's going to be madness, and uh, they're going to be even lower. So that's why I say be careful. But again, you have to mix that with it's the end game. I want to use the cards that I want to use. And I will say this, guys. I had one of my biggest flips just in the past couple hours of at least like the past while i bought a jude bellingham on stream for three million forty nine thousand coins uh 3049 just sold them for 3.7 like the rarity on some of these award winner cards are nuts that was the only card that i literally bought and traded with yesterday and jude is now sitting on the market for 3.3 mil right he was sitting mine was at 3.7 the only one for about 30 minutes and i was lucky that it sold um i mean just watch out for these cards if they get down lower to where their tots card is on the market that's why i bought this jude he was three million coins on stream i picked him up because i was like his um award winners usually sound like three three to three four and his tots cards like three one so i was like that's a decent buy in my opinion there but keep an eye on these guys because they they are very, very rare. The last thing I want to talk about today is this Calvin Phillips and the Phil Foden showdown. A lot of you guys, I mean, of course, on the top of flipping right now, what do you see? You see those two guys, right? Like Foden's right up here and uh, Phillips was right up there. But to me, it's kind of crazy that this Calvin Phillips card is getting the final upgrade uh, today. The upgrade's supposed to happen today, by the way. So if you have this card uh, on EA's website, it says June 11th. He's getting a plus one and he's getting a five-star skill move upgrade. So it's going to be five-star, five-star, 91 rated. I don't think that upgrade's good enough. I really don't think that it is. These cards, in my opinion, should be getting like a bigger boost at the very end. It should be like, hey, EA saying we're going to boost this card up to where it would match the power curve right now. Because a 91 rated card, if that was dropped in packs, that's like a fodder tots card, you know? So this card as it sits already, I don't even think this card is going to be that good after a plus one. I would rather have the end of an era James Milner and objectives than this card, even with the five-star, five-star. But to each their own, if you're a Man City fan, you're very excited after yesterday. And the Phil Foden with a plus two, that's a card that's going to look pretty good. I think actually I saw somebody post a picture of what the Foden card might look like. This is what it might look like today. 93 pace, 97 dribble, 90 shooting, 92 passing. So watch out for that upgrade as well. EA has been pretty on it with the upgrades on these uh, final games for Conference League, Europa League, and now Champions League. So keep an eye on that. And watch your Manchester City cards because they're fluctuating on the market a bit too, as a lot of Manchester City fans are very hyped. 
Oh, last thing. We're kind of doing the leaks right here at the end of the video. La yesterday, this tweet by Foot Scoreboard was put out. We talked about it a lot on stream. This SBC is probably incoming pretty soon as well. Might be today. Who knows? Um, but the card that was chosen by the E Champions League winner, Yilmaz, uh, was Kaka. We thought maybe Hullet. We thought maybe De Young or something like that. But no, it is Kaka. And stats are predicted that card design that the FIFA Esports page posted is the legit card design. So this is the card design that will be used. And hopefully this Kaka is, uh, I guess, juice, right? Because we have a 93 already that's 5-star, five 5-star. Five so this new one that comes out has also got to be 5-star, five 5-star. Five so I don't know what's going to happen with that. I don't know when it's going to drop. But the fact that it's basically a leak, right? So if it's leaked, and this is Foot Scoreboard who has stuff that's in the code, um, unless he's just hearing this from the grapevine and it's not actually like in the code of the game, I don't know, but I would imagine this SBC has to be pretty soon since this was about the E Champions League. The Champions League just ended, so maybe today's content on Sunday, that could be a part of it as well. So there's a lot going on in this game, but I'll tell you what, this week in league is sweaty. I got to go get some wins and try to get some of these cracked rewards because the rewards are still cracked, but I got to fix up to try to get 11 because it was a very woeful time playing yesterday on stream. So a lot going on in this game today. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Photocamp. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.